We have a new, no, well, not a new judge, but a new, uh, we have, uh, Trump has finalized his uh, nominee for the Supreme Court posi- uh, vacancy, um, and it is my last, <laughs> uh, you know, the one uh, lowest on the rung from my perspective. So uh, what we get, what we get today is... Uh, is uh, Barrett, who is Amy Barrett, who is a uh, appellate court judge in Chicago. Uh, she flew to Washington. She's being announced, I think, right now. She will face uh, the judicial commission, the Judiciary Committee, uh, in the weeks to come. And ultimately, I think Republicans are going to try to have a vote before the actual election on November third. We'll see if they can pull that off. I'm sure the Democrats will do whatever they can procedurally to uh, prevent that from happening. Uh, they're going to push it out as much uh, as much as they can. It's, uh, it, it, I guess it was the expected choice. She's been at the top of the list pretty much uh, that everybody has presented. Uh, you know, she's, uh, she's, she was the, no, I guess she was just behind Kavanaugh when they, uh, just behind or just ahead of Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh when they, uh, when the previous, when the when they replaced Kennedy, she was definitely being considered. Then uh, I think Trump went with Kavanaugh in the end, but uh, but here we are. Uh, Amy Barrett is is uh, likely to be a uh, Supreme Court judge. I, I I think that the I think Republicans are too cowardly not to appoint her, and I don't think given the that we have no um, filibuster anymore. For Supreme Court nominations, that now uh, the Democrats can't stop it. The Republicans have a three-person majority, fifty-three to forty-seven, and it's likely that they will vote that way. Unlikely that any Democrats will vote for um, for this uh, this nomination. Remember that the filibuster was first eliminated by the Democrats for presidential appointees, excluding Supreme Court judges. Republicans then, um, inc- uh, you know, excluded the filibuster, so no filibuster was needed for Supreme Court nominations, uh, that, and both of uh, both of Trump's nominees were basically, I think, got zero Democratic votes. Maybe maybe Gorsuch got some, but but certainly Kavanaugh did not. Kavanaugh just squeaked by. I think it was fifty to forty-eight. Uh, Amy Barrett will probably come in at. Well, I mean, two Republicans have said that they don't believe we should, uh, they should be voting on this before the election. So um, if it stays at two, then uh, it'll be, what would it be, 51 to 49 or probably 51 to 47 with the two Republicans abstaining. And then you've got Susan Collins in Maine who might also refuse to, um, to vote. And um, it might be 50 to 47 with three Republicans abstaining. Of course, if one more uh, Republican says we shouldn't have a vote before the election, then, then, then it's real trouble. So real trouble for Trump, real trouble for the Republicans. Uh, Andrew asked, what did I make of the criticism of her Catholicism? Well... I think in, uh, ordinarily I would make much of it, but the argument is, and, and I don't know, we'll see, we'll see uh, once she is being questioned in the Judiciary Committee, the argument is that she's not just Catholic, just like, like people are what they are, but it, you know, have that particular religious position, but that she is a devout Catholic, and the Catholicism kind of dominates her way of thinking, and to the extent that one fears that her Catholicism will interfere in the way she interprets law, that her Catholicism would interfere in the way she rules, then, uh, yeah, I, I, I think it makes sense to, to worry about that. I certainly am worried about her, not because of her Catholicism, Catholicism per se, but because from what I understand, from the little, you know, from the little I've read about her, from, um, she is a real religionist. She really does, uh, she takes her Catholicism super seriously. And uh, I think she is more than likely to, if not 
overturn Roe versus Wade, which I think she will do, given that there's probably a majority which who, who will support her. But I think she will empty Roe versus Wade of content, and 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 that's. I, I would expect that that's what she said she will do. She's, uh, she's, uh, she's, it's well documented in writing that she does not have much respect for precedent. I don't have much respect for precedent either, so I'm not going to criticize her for that fact. But the fact that she does not have much respect for precedent, the fact that she and many conservatives, and again here I probably agree with them, believe that Roe versus Wade was badly decided I, I think completely opens it up, no matter what she says, <laughs> to her overriding, overturning Roe versus Wade. I, I think there's now a clear majority, even if Roberts uh, doesn't vote with the majority, there's a clear majority for overturning. I mean, Clarence Thomas is clearly on the side of overturning. I think Alito is too. Uh, and then it's an issue of what Gorsuch and what uh, Kavanaugh would do. I'm pretty sure Kavanaugh would uh, go with overturning Roe versus Wade. Gorsuch is the wild card, but I think ultimately, if there's if if he was the swing vote, he would go for for doing it. And you might even get Roberts, so it might even be a six to three decision, not a five to four. So uh, we will see. I think that would be a great tragedy if Roe versus Wade is overturned. Uh, and but it's it's more than just Roe versus Wade. It really is a question of how does her religion, how does her Catholicism, how does her view of the world as a devout, not just a, a, a mainstream, but a devout Catholic, how is that going to affect the way she views the law? And I think, you know, I I have this wish, but I think it's it's more than a, a fantasy than a wish. I, I have a I have a desire to to see in my lifetime a Supreme Court judge who has respect for the foundations of the Constitution, not just for the written word of the Constitution, but it's for its intentions. I, I think that the, the Constitution is being gutted by the Supreme Court, gutted completely, uh, and empty of content. But what I, And the only way to resurrect the, the Constitution, the only way to revive the Constitution, is to revive a proper interpretation of the Constitution. And the only way to revive a proper interpretation of the Constitution is through an understanding, through an understanding of uh, the concept of individual rights. And I don't think there's a single judge there who understands individual rights. The closest might be Clarence Thomas, but he has a very limited understanding of what individual rights mean. Gorsuch might be a second, but none of the other judges have any clue as to what individual rights mean, and neither did Anthony Scalia the guy who almost everybody thinks is the guru of great judges. But uh, Anthony Scalia basically said individual rights were nonsense on stilts, as, as did Robert Bork before him. I mean, all these conservative judges in the past have been anti-individual rights. So without the concept of individual rights, without that anchoring your understanding of the Constitution, the Constitution then becomes a vehicle for you to interpret in any way you want for the goals that, that you want. Somebody says, what I think is more actually banning the sale of gas cars in California or Roe getting overturned. I think it's more likely Roe gets overturned because California won't ultimately ban gas cars if, elect if, if given that they won't have a grid. They, you know, the electric grid right now cannot support the homes and businesses that exist today. Imagine if you put on top of that, I don't know, 100 million, 150 million automobiles that have to be charged several times a day given the distances one has to drive in California. Uh, I mean, the grid, the grid cannot sustain that. Now, so I, I think ultimately California will have to compromise and allow for some gas cars or gas cars with high whatever, high mileage or whatever. I don't know, but the idea that California can switch in 15 years to all um, electric cars and at the same time switch to uh, solar and wind energy is basically science fiction. It's basically insane. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman 
who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.